Right guys, it's been a while, but today I'm giving you initial review on the Apex MTXR regulator. Now let's take a look what's in this surprisingly big regulator bag. That by the way comes with this regulator. Velcro. Velcro is always a nice bonus. Tactical look. The tactical look is basically because uh, this regulator was originally designed with the, with the US Navy and the idea was to create a regulator for the armed forces that would be technically bulletproof in the conditions they would be using which means supreme cold water capabilities ease of use and epic reliability now as i dive here in the cold water conditions i do have two first stages okay because of a uh, redundancy i will show you in a minute how to how to do the cold water setup on the rig with these bad boys but let's take a quick look at the, what we're looking at in the regs. First of all the first stage as you can see in the construction big focus on cold water performance because the purpose of this uh, construction is to minimize freezing in cold water conditions. Bumpers on both sides here's an extra low pressure port that you can get access to by removing this cap. We're looking at two high pressure ports and one two three four low pressure ports plus one here on the top. The second obviously is identical. I have attached here my transmitter, then I have my low pressure inflator hose and my primary second stage. The second first stage as you can see identical obviously. These are by the way both DIN setups. On this one, I've attached my octo, pressure gauge, secondary computer backup, and one more low pressure inflator hose because of the dry suit. Now what we're looking at here is my 10 liter steel tank with two valves because it's meant for cold water diving. Cold water diving, by the way, means that you're diving in water temperatures below 10 degrees Celsius. In Fahrenheit, that's probably 3,200 or something like that. No clue. Let's put on the first, first stage. Now these are DIN setups. So if your instructor wants uh, mentioned to you that the way to remember DIN is in and yoke is on. One of the benefits of uh, the DIN setup is that it can handle 300 bars of pressure and you're also always carrying your own o-ring which means you can make sure that it's in the best possible condition. Now one thing to notice in my setup with this X-Deep uh, NXN uh, wing I cannot have my second first stage sitting the same way as this one so it is upside down. Obviously this doesn't have any effect on the performance of the rig. The way you're gonna be mounting this uh, will be dependent on what kind of a BCD you're using, what size, what kind of shape of a tank you're using and how you like to set your wing or BCD on the tank, how high or low you want to have it here. So that's pretty much how it mounts on. The tank. And I did mention that there's a, there's a swivel on the first stage. So you can see that this first stage will a little bit adapt to your personal position when you're diving with it. Obviously this is not something very new in, in the world of regulators but on Apex regulators it's not the most common feature to find. 
on the second stage nice big purge button right here in the middle and as if you can see extreme cold water use laser etched on the on the cover of the second stage here i don't know how cool that is but yeah some people like it i'm at the moment a little bit divided there we go comes with the apex Confo mouthpiece same design on the octo just a different color also a nice big purge button as I, uh, as the regulator seems to be uh, identical except the mouthpiece is different you can always of course change these into what kind of mouthpieces you like my personal favorite is always the Confo mouthpiece and I carry several backups always with me on your primary second stage you see nice big exhaust valves here on the side and on your octo they are a little bit smaller because of the smaller footprint you can very easily change these by the way just push it here pop it open and they will come off of the regulator now let's have a little bit of a closer look at the regulator construction itself like I said swiveling first stage thin connection and here I hope you can very well see the, the construction on the first stage so then the second stage now one of the main things that they focused on at apex in creating this regulator was ease of use in multiple scenarios which means that you want to limit the amount of uh, possible problems that you could have with the regulator therefore it's it's quite minimal one of the things that you will probably straight away notice is that it's missing the venturi switch here and the adjustable breathing uh, system they do manufacture the rc model that was uh, designed after this to give people the option of using that Personally, I don't miss this setup at all. My previous regulator had it. I was diving with the Apex uh, XTX100 regulators and they did have the Venturi and the adjustable breathing system on it. I very rarely used it. And it's just one, th one less thing to worry about while you're diving. That means that this regulator, it has been already optimized for optimal breathing and I have to say that straight away when I started to dive with this regulator, I, w I felt like at home. The ease of breathing is top notch as it was obviously already on my previous regulator. So for me personally, I didn't have any problems moving into this regulator. Uh, one of the cold water system uh, setups is that we have the heat exchange here also on the second stage to prevent freezing. Let's look inside. So here we got the diaphragm and we also have the supporting plastic, take that away, diaphragm away. And the construction is to my eye identical to what it was with the old regulator. So already a proven system that is very reliable. And to me, one of the most beautiful breathing regulators there is. Also, very easy to service on the field if you have any problems. Probably the biggest problems you could have with a regulator diving, for example, on tropical conditions where there's sand and stuff, is getting sand between the diaphragms here on the exhaust valve or on the main diaphragm here. And those are obviously very easy to clean on the field. Just remove it clear it from uh, from debris sand whatever there is and just put it back in very important by the way always make sure you get the logo exactly horizontal there we go by the way they've thought about it at apex because the previous models didn't have this so you get the align arrow here fantastic talk about progress beautiful Quick look at the Octo, I did already mention that it's identical to the main second stage. 
as you can see heat exchange here same specs inside exactly the same so what's nice with this system is that you can rest assured that both of your second stages are high performing top level second stages not with some setups where you get a inferior octopus on the side at least lower spec version so there you go guys my initial view i may have called it in the beginning of the uh, video a review i'm not gonna give you a review at the moment yet because i've only dived about six times at the moment so far with these regs so i will need a little bit more time on forming my complete opinion about these regs uh, some quick pointers here uh, first of all the first stage is significantly bigger than the xtx 100 that i had it is also bigger than the xtx 200s that uh, many of the divers out there have so that's something to take into consideration but what is nice is the swiveling first stage to give you that flexibility with your hose mounting second stage is I felt straight away, straight away like at home with this. They breathe beautifully. Uh, the, what I really like about Apex regulators is you can really, really nicely adjust your breathing um, on the regu on the regulators. So, so depending how, what what your breathing technique is underwater, um, they are very accurate at supplying you with the amount of air you want. You want to use less or more. It's not always just like pounding you with maximum amount of air in volume but but it's very accurate to breathe underwater and that's fantastic that's something that i really like because very often i i really like to adjust my breathing very in very small increments when i'm diving now i'm not sure about um, the air consumption at the moment with these regs uh, my last dives have been here in a relatively new dry suit in cold water conditions with, with new regs, so I've been looking at my sack rate, surface air consumption, uh, and it's a little bit been on the high side, but there's many things that are affecting my diving at the moment. As I mentioned, dry suit, cold water, leading dives on new dive sites, carrying a camera, all that will obviously hit your air consumption. So I will be uh, posting more material on these regs and other stuff as i get time for some more videos my initial view on the apex mtxr regulators and i will be sure to keep on diving with these for a long time catch you later and i hope your surface interval will be short as possible see ya